assalamu alaikum friends friends today we will discuss for logic creation for any type of machines look like washing look like any as a reverse forward control we, can, we will create in the tia portal v16 in previous lectures already i told about the how to create new project that's uh, no need and directly we go for open the project view and let's start first of all we will open our plc that already configured if you like to new uh, new plc like to create you can add any PC inside CPU S7 1200 or you have S7 1500 or 300 400 whichever whatever you have CPU that you can select and after C bits to your model any yani. which model I have I have that model that CPU 1215 DC DC relay and that's the article number and then click it OK. And this will opening the new window for you. Because of that old is already selected any CPU telephone. See but at the learning purpose I am open the new CPU. That when this opened that CPU you have to create a program inside the look like a logic open the main ob first of all what we start here any type of program when like to create the logic simply when old area when you when we go in backwards without plc when we are doing the programs inside the uh, with any hardware that time we create look like a panel, small panel with the push buttons, emergency switches and any look like selector switches that think about any we are creating a panel inside the PLC after you better understand how to we design our program. This is the in this one page is look like your panel internal panel for your hardware look like this is the first row of your power supply this one this 24 volts and it, this is the second row here for example you think about this is our main inside first of all we have to be choose here first select where you like to put this one first of all i will take my one switch for emergency for example we have to like to put it at the emer on emergency uh, push button for a whole program like to stop any panel that have to be giving address any i will give the address i0.0 .0. start from any first input that first input i will start to use my emergency switch for example when you giving the press the emergency switch button after this signal will be energized and this tag also you like to if uh, rename this tag you can go to this area and you can write it here emergency emg only can write if that will be shows about and here click change the tag will be properly shows in your software that tag i'm created for any i0.0 for emergency in next step what we do we will take one one coil for example you like to start motor yani that i will take u 0.1 for example because of r0 also can use any q 0.0 you can use for this first yani which is motor is running inside your machine or what any uh, hardware that q 0.0 will be your first uh, output which is running for any yani, reverse condition or forward condition and this tag also you can replace and right click 
that rename tag and you can write it here for motor I think so I will write motor M O T O R motor motor for reverse condition or forward condition any you can write any F W D you can write it here for any simple in language you this is your contactor for example you think about any this is of my one contactor Q0.0 and this is running for <coughs> my first start and here first of all in this row any this is your row for 24 volts and here you have to be choose one push button any start push button for example that's first of all you have to be emergency when opened after you first button you needs for start any this I will take I 0 0.1 and this tag also you can give give the name go to the rename tag and make it here start button T A R T start PB also you can write any any la, your language which you like to choose it here which you like you can write it here in the program this is your star start pb push button this also you can use for selector switch as per if you like this use selector switch this is directly you can main on and off if you like to make with the uh, look like a look like any push button any one is for stop and one is for uh, start so, so what you can do you can make it here when one another any uh, row inside and here it you can little make it here and also you can one take here contact for of this of your q0.0 q0.0 when you take it for this one this is for your stop condition and you can take it here this one row and one this one you make it stop right and this you have to be connected here for this one because of this push button you make it for start push button i0.0 .0. and when you like to start you have to be put it here one another close contact for this I0.2 I0.2 for what any this you can for stop condition here also you can rename this tag stop push button stop P B here you can push this terminal. so first of all we will download this small program inside the PLC because of you first see this one is more your motor continue will be start and stop then go to the start search then click load and now your program is compiled because of the software have beauty we compiled everything if you have some errors are in, inside maybe you making something wrong it will be no download the program it must be initialize or stop all and then click again load it will be now downloading and this is when finish now your program is completely ready and it's downloaded in, into the PLC and this is ready to simulate we will check this one with physical test see now our simulation is running when simulation will be started that area will be you can in, uh, see another color and also this our 24 volt line is will be ready to green means here power is ready to energize your coil I will give first my signal I0.0 .0. see for example this is my emergency is on yani. and as I give this uh, signal I0.0 .0, my Q0.0 .0 will be energized and 
एग्जाम्पल यू थिंक कैन थिंक यानी दिस इज नाउ योर प्रोग्राम इज योर मोटर इज स्टार्टेड नाउ इन फॉरवर्ड कंडीशन वॉशिंग मशीन और वाट यानी एनी टाइप ऑफ मशीन यू यूजिंग गन एंड वेन यू लाइक टू स्टॉप दिस वन यू हैव टू गिव द सिग्नल फॉर आई जीरो डॉट टू वैन दिस सिग्नल कम्स एज सुन एज योर मशीन विल बी स्टॉप्ड सो नाउ वी विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल स्टॉप द सिमुलेशन एंड वी विल क्रिएट द प्रोग्राम कंप्लीट फॉर रिवर्स फॉरवर्ड यानी this is for example this is your q0.0 is your forward coil now what we do first of all we will take one we will create create from here yani this is stop pb our yani complete program execution after this q0.0 this is holding function this is forget this one and now we focus on how to make another coil with the time yani and when we using the time inside first of all what we take we take one next row in here where, where you like to put the row here there what area you have to choose first yani where you like to start this row here goes and take the one branch and take it one timer on delay timer when you go to the timer timer is also what's the beauty of this uh, programs and everything why using the plc in industry when using the timer here inside the programming you can use the hundreds of timer because of uh, if you need time time with time you are running any one motor for example your machine is like to be run 15 seconds reverse 15 seconds forward are 1 minute forward and 1 minute have to be reverse and also you need inside the delay 15 second you must be have to use three timers if you not use three timers you cannot make this control in physical uh, with at relay logic or um, when you purchasing this one too much high price you have to be purchase this timers and also relays you have to be purchase when internal relays you like to use this internal relays you have to be purchased so the timer when you use you can give it here name as md data registers md10 i will start no problem any data register you can choose and else you yeah, like if you like to see the running time yani el past time also you can choose here one data register md15 i will use for that for watching the time and now what we do we have to be start this first our forward condition for for example 10 seconds or 15 seconds or 5 seconds this we need after we, we need to be stop this one q0.0 and our next other side yani for reverse condition have to be coil energized so what we start first here we will this start this time and we will put it here one internal delay here we use for internal relay m i start m 100.0 i will start from here m 100.0 that coil i will be start why this start m 100.0 because of i like to start this q0.1 when i like to start this q0.1 i have to be put this close contact of this i am 100.0 or the input of q0.0 because if like to stop this one q0.0 i have to put one m100 of this is think about this is the one relay outside in the hardware this is the one relay m100.0 and you have to be choose it here you have one close contact for this one m100.0 m100.0 when which time we selected for that q0.0 the timer after the time completed after this relay will be energized when this relay will be energized and your open contact of the this m100.0 
this will when this is energized this close contact will be opened and your q0.0 will be stopped firstly we will check this same small program after next we will go because first this is stop and not stop we will confirm step by step when you understand about this relay logic what's the difference between relay logic and that computer work after you understand i think so in this area you will be very clear about this function and this tag also i will trick the display in format in decimal condition if to you better understand and this tag also i will take the display in decimal condition and i will write it here for example i need my this this motor will be maybe a um, uh, machine washing or conveyor or whatever any i need for any 10 seconds or 15 seconds i write it here 10000 for example this will be 10 seconds counted the 10 10 seconds after this relay will be on and our q0.0 will be stopped let's check now our emergency switch is on already and we will give the signal at m0. i0.1 let's now our q0.0 is started already and when time will be completed at 100.0 uh, relay will be on and our q0.0 motor is forward running or run uh, reverse condition running that will be stopped and execution also complete stopped now this this small program is running properly as i give the uh, time for i0.0 when i make it push button on my q0.0 will be on for 10 seconds and after this will be stopped and you can think this one may be um, we are doing for washing machine look like the pattern in the mind this is we making for washing machine project and this motor is now 10 seconds clockwise uh, run and after stop now let's we make next program in for reverse condition this is we started for forward condition now we will use for reverse condition so let's where we go no go to far we have to only select it here and take one more branch it here and we have to use for one more timer oh sorry this no this is the t o f means off delay timer and this is the on delay timer we are choosing the on delay timer that's that's we have to be delete click on and you can continuously go to delete now let's do next when we like to start another side reverse condition this is motor is when running in forward condition and we need in now reverse condition what we do firstly we will give the if we like to give the delay inside any in 1 second 2 second 3 second or 5 seconds you have to give delay you have to must choose one another timer and this timer we give the data register for change time out uh, for continuously for from hmi you will give the we will give the time here mw md20 md20 i will use for this time for delay and this data register also i will choose md30 for this one and also we like to change this tags also we can change the tags rename tag delay timer d e l a y delay this timer we use for delay and this is for you can rename forward time fwd forward tm time this is your forward time and this is your delay and here we use one more timer for reverse any running how much time we need for reverse 
that we have to use it here one more we make it one more row here and we use will one more timer on delay and that's what we do first we will do it here md 35 and here md 40 we will use for see this if you'll uh, put it's okay if no, no like to put no need here data registers because this is only display time if you need this is same yani this display time this set point and this is the your uh, I'll pass time this you like to see at the HMI this is both are same yani when you this tag you take at the HMI this will be shows also you how much time you set inside the and this is here see only running time if you will see the running time how much time is now um, finished this you can see and this tag we also replaced for a reverse condition a reverse time a reverse timer that's our forward time that the reverse time that's okay nothing issue if you rename after you can do any look like reverse time forward time and reverse time right now let's what we do we need for the delay here to next next our start for this our uh, motor for reverse condition simple simple we will make you better understand here I started for M1.0 for this close contact of this stop Q0.0 right and now we started here this when M100.0 will be on that time after this timer will be energized first don't start this timer if both time will be start all after me will be problem when this relay started after this time timer needs to be start because of this is the delay of our that reverse here what I do here I make this open contact for this one relay because of when this energized after this timer I need to be on so here I used close contact here I used open contact and that I did give the name M100 point zero when my m hundred point zero is on after this time started and here after what I do one take more here relay and this relay for what I will choose this relay I will use for to start my reverse condition a reverse motor journey reverse condition and this I will take m one hundred M one hundred M one hundred point five I will use. Okay. When you changing this relays, you know this is only you serial wise you can use M one hundred point one, one hundred point two, one hundred point three, one hundred point five. That's uh, used any relay tags. And this one you used for relay M100.5, this is your for uh, start of your next, next timer, means a reverse condition. First this one is running for forward condition this motor and now we will start for reverse condition this when we put here time this time after this relay will be delayed yani this delay comes comes to the uh, your reverse and this relay i will put it here m100.5 open contact i will choose because of when this relay on 
after this timer have to be go on m 100.5 when on after i need this that timer on because of this timer is for my reverse started right how much time when this start this one after how much time i need i need to run my forward that will be start and what we do here here we will put one more relay for for forward uh, reverse condition we will take one hit here relay that that's the q0.0 and this will be we take this will we take for m100.5 this time around after this this is the for delay this is the delay and this timer is for what m100 is on no here i think so we no need this here not use this one if we use this timer no problem here we no need we have to be needed here m100.5 here we need make it one branch no no here we start this one when m0 dot m100.5 when on after this time timer have to be goes to start and when this timer will start after how much time delay after start one more one more timer we needs i think so here because of this is this timer is the for delay yani this is the first time for this q0.0 time and this is the for delay of that reverse condition reverse condition delay delay after our m100.5 when on after we need our q0.0 needs to be on once after we need our q0. Q zero dot one we needs to be on because this delay comes and after this our Q zero dot one will be energized and in this same we will use it here one in one row we will use it here one more timer to repeat any yani for this whole system here we also take one timer. For on delay timer, yani means how much time we need. Also, this Q zero dot one, we need one timer. And this one I will take MD forty. MD forty data register. And this one I will use for uh, that one reverse time. md45 this one i will use for this for this relay any i think so if we use it here also one timer because of when this delay finished that delay finished after i'm m0.5 will be continuously on continuously on and that timer will be start and this one after this timer we will use one more more coil for m0.5 we used m 100 
point six we will use no problem m hundred point six after when run and this m hundred point six when this started after we have to be make contact it here for this whole system like to be stop here we will go and make it close contact m 100.6 of the close contact of this whole system for repeat yani let's check we first what's happen we will download this program to the plc and then click load when logic creation you have to go some maybe sometimes working this relay here no need this relay here no need this here needs so this timer like to be upside this timer need to be down fix that's logic you can create same like any must be at make it exercise at 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 your system and this all data we will put in tag in decimal format because we will after seeing that uh, easily and anyway we can see this all data the decimal and that decimal also decimal and see this is we put for 10 10 seconds for forward condition right and now we have to be give delay for 3 seconds for example we will give it here in decimal 3 seconds we will give the delay 3000 when i put this 3 seconds after our m 100.5 have to be on and when this 100.5 is on after continuously our q0 dot have to be must on for reverse condition this tag i still not given next i will and this you have to be give time how much time you need for this q0 dot 1 have to be on this time you have to be give this time after you have to be give for example decimal 10 seconds also you need if for any 10 second reverse and 10 second forward if you need you have to put it here 1000 right i think so our program will be inshallah good run and after when this time is finished that relay will be on when this relay on after this system will be repeat and this i think so maybe this here we no need this we have to be fix it here let's check no problem we stop the simulation we have to start the simulation now our simulation is started and we have to see our program is running or not that q in this q0.6 that i give the signal i0.1 now this q0.0 is running for 10 seconds when 10 seconds will be complete after that next timer have to be on that delay timer m100.0 have to be go on on this m100.0 we fix it here and this the stop our execution so we have to remove first this one m100.0 go to the simulation of and this we have to be remove because of if we fix this one this will be stop the execution all complete we no need to stop any for execution of the uh, program we need to be conti continuously and now m100.0 on and then direct timer stopped that not stopped our q0.0 again download to the plc and let's check and make it simulation on now again we will give the signal 
now our q0.0 timer is running and this when completed the time after now this timer is started and now m100.5 is started our q0.1 is started one is started and what's happen yani our whole process is stopped because we no need to whole process is stopped we need to be continuously again this have to be run again we need to be run so i think so we have to be fix it here i02 stop the execution and that one which relay we fixed it here m100.6 when this needs this again needs to be start this one m100.6 we fix it here okay once we will fix it here after we will see m100.6 we will put it here oh 100.6 huh? yeah 100.6 we will put when when this coming after this is our whole procedure will be stopped right let's check what problem what's the happening yani when program creation we not download then load and now let's check next time now we have to focus on that m0.6 now we am 0.6 100.6 two variables we fix that's also i think so wrong we have to be check first no problem now it's running but this will be stopped this one means this is stop execution here also now this other timer is on our this not stop because of why because of we m 100.5 m 100.0 when runs this time finished that 100.0 we have to be fixed here because of this when timer time is finished this m 100 Point five, hundred point five, or which number we used? No, we have hundred point zero. We used when as any this time is finished. This have to be stop. I am one hundred point zero. One hundred point zero. We have to be used for this uh, relay. to stop the execution because of when this is one second let's make the execution and start again our program as our 100.0 will be finish the time uh first time is uh, finish the time our 100.0 will be on and our q0.0 is stopped and our next next this timer have to be run m0 m100.0 because of why this is happening because of we, we make this holding any at here 
in the for this for the program because of when holding is finished that q0.0 that's have to it's goes to be in stop so what we can do here this i0.0 uh, i0.2 i will removed and here also q0.0 we will be removed and we start as look like first and check first later on we will make in set condition and reset condition first our program let's see now for example i give the signal at i0.0 is he is not making the hold yani you know it's look like yani selector switch is uh, selector switch type running when m100.0 have to on our q0.0 is stopped and next our m100.5 on after q0.1 is on when q0.1 time completed our our that again our q0.0 is run now our program is okay because of this is continuously we need this uh, read and if we need this also holding circuit no problem also we can make that holding circuit how we can make that's also i will explain you because of that i0.0 when we make it on this our whole system is executed and in first row we will make it the simply any in set and reset function when you like to close in with do with push buttons also we can do and this is look like a selector switch any when you using that this is your emergency push button and this is your i0.1 is your selector switch and if you know did with, with selector switch you can use it here one relay and that's we can make the simulation on see and you like to change the time you can change the time it here this is our wait we will change the time also after you understand yani this is forward this is your forward time this for q0.0 and and this is your delay time delay time and this is your for reverse time A rename tag this is you can fix it here rename tag reverse tm time and go to the change tag this is your is your reverse time and this tag you can take from here to to the hmi and you can make it set and you needs to any running time like to see reverse this is the running time md45 and this one is your delay running time and this one is your forward running time simply simply this system you can see and let's we will create for this also uh, the your execution you say here we put one for example this will i0.0 is our execution yani for main on this we using for uh, look like a uh, selector switch button and if we need for this one continuously any yani with on off so what we do we have to be choose here any another bit m200 m300 301 300 use can 300.0 
this tag we can use and this is our emergency switch and here we make a branch I think so here we can't make the branch here we can here also you can make the name reverse forward program reverse fwd forward <coughs> control too many any things you can mention cross reference download insert network see here if you we go to there here we can insert network and this will be go at network one insert network uh, this is first network later on here also we can make no problem first of all we will take it here one relay for i0.0 .0 i 0, .0, 0 for our execution and from this we will make it here 1 coil which we using m300.0 m300.0 we will use and this will we use for look like a set any this is for set this will be go set and here you can make the another branch and we will take one another i0.0 .0 and you need i0.1 i0.1 if you need oh sorry here you take contact for i 0 dot 1 for this your m 300 m 300.0 for what any for a reset and again download to the plc in click it load and make it simulation on see your i0.0 .0 is currently continuously on and you will make it that i0.1 signal See this is now running M300.0 is running your program is completely running and if you to need to be stop execution you have to M0.1 when giving the signal it will be it will be goes to reset but this is one mistake we make M0.0 .I0 .0 is our emergency i0.0 .0 is our emergency we used it wrong system i0.0 .0 when on after we have to be used this stop execution after we have to be used i oh sorry here also here also one more contact we will use i0.0 .0, sorry i0.1 i0.1 for your uh, set condition and i0.2 i0.2 is for your your 
a reset condition. Because of here we use I0.0 for emergency condition. I0.0 is the emergency condition and this is also we will make I0.0 is your emergency. When emergency press any, anywhere here press, here press or here press this signal will be no pass. And again download to the PLC. How many times you make the changes in program you have to be again download the program and make it simulation on. See now our I0.1 0 is when on whole system will be not run because of this is our emergency. First of all we make the emergency on after when we give the emergency one it will be going set condition and our system is upside will be running C and when we make it that I0.2 that will be go to the reset see our whole system is now goes to reset yani. as I give the signal I0.1 uh, our system will be started only gives need one push button and that M300 will be take it hold now it's holding any yani. As the signal goes for I0.2, it will be make reset for this one M300.0. M300.0. And if we stop our emergency button, for example, our system will be all stopped. Right? This will be stopped. I hope this will be you complete understand about this uh, function uh, reverse forward control and this is various areas you can use this you control for reverse forward see this is 10 seconds for our Q0.0 .0 will be run and after see here is when 10, 10 second completed after this is our delay timer running yani this for q0.1 needs to be delay now this 10 seconds after this one q0.0 will be running and see this is 0 0 is running and this will be immediately not start this will be take little th 3 seconds it will be take delay and after this is how much time you like to fix you like to fix it here two seconds you can change it here 2000 and after two seconds will be on your system see that same as it is we can make the program in uh, PLC as far reverse forward control you can use this program for washing machines you can use for conveyors any sometimes your conveyor uh, running for time you need any this runs for time 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes how much you can it increase it here time 10 second 15 second 20 seconds 30 seconds 1 minute 2 minutes how much time you need you can change your time at here I hope you complete understand about the about this program and if you anything not understand you can send me the message in comment section or you send me email I will reply you as soon as possible and if you need this program seem like complete I can give you the complete program send me message in email thanks for watching Allah Hafiz